Welcome to the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library Museum. My name is Ryan Sims. I'm the archivist here at the Grant Presidential Library. And I'd like to talk to you today about one of our artifacts on display in our museum. And that is the opera cloak of Ulysses S. Grant's wife, Julia Grant. The Grants purchased this opera cloak when they were on the first leg of their world tour in 1877 in Paris. They had been invited to the opening of the new Paris Opera House and Mrs. Grant wanted something nice and new to wear to the event. They actually purchased two of these opera cloaks, each for 400 francs apiece, one for Mrs. Grant and one for Fanny Drexel, the daughter of Anthony Drexel, the founder of Drexel University and banker and philanthropist. After President Grant's death in 1885, Julia Grant moved from New York City to Washington, D.C., where she took in young women who were students at the nearby Corcoran Art School. In the late 1890s, Julia gave the opera cloak to one of these young women, whose grandson, a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army, ultimately donated it to the Ulysses Grant Collection in 1971. It wasn't until 2018 that we were able to properly have a conservation work done on the cloak. As you can see, the beads on the opera cloak are held together by very fine threads. And over the last hundred plus years, the threads have broken. So we were able to find a conservator named Jessica Hack in New Orleans, Louisiana, who was able to conduct a great deal of preservation work on it for us. She clipped and trimmed loose and broken beads and threads and stabilized the neckband with a crepe lined silk overlay. Because of that expertise, it costs a great deal of money to properly preserve an item such as this. So please, if you're interested in visiting us here at the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library, we hope that you'll come by and see Julia Grant's Opera Cloak. And we also hope that you'll help donate funds for the preservation of this and many other priceless treasures here at the Grant Presidential Library. Thank you.